everyone, this is Monkey1000 and today I'm going to make oatmeal cookies, but I'm going to put in um, this trivia. Trivia? Is that how you say it? I'm going to put these in here because of the sugar levels that I have to watch for me and my mother. So, also, I found these today and I'm going to put these in there. And they're like baking chips, but, um, you know, chocolate chips, but there's no sugar in these. They're semi-sweet, so I'm going to put them in there too. I um, might do half a half a batch with those and maybe half with plain. Might do something like that. Anyway, so we're going to do this. I ran to the store because I have oats but I don't have the old-fashioned oats and this is old-fashioned oats for this recipe that I found but um, the kind I have is steel cut and I was afraid of it not working so well so I went and ran to the store and got this so anyways we're going to get ready as you can see my backsplash is done um, Shea Bear did it yesterday uh, if you haven't seen his video go check it out it's Shea Bear 1000 and he showed you uh, how to put it up so you can go to his channel to see how they did it it's the sticky stuff i really like it it looks really nice and it's shiny and it's really pretty and then also i also while we're here i got lights here let me see if i can turn them on there we go and i got some lights so and you can do them the only thing is you have to hit the button individually to to turn them on and you got different colors and stuff like that. So, yeah, I like it a lot. It's very pretty. And so, what we're going to do now, I'm going to switch over so I can get my recipe out here. And put my glasses on. And see what we got going. Eh, hopefully I didn't lose it. No, oh, there it is, okay. So, what we're going to do first, I've already preheated the oven. You're going to preheat it to 375. I've already done that because I wanted to have it ready for y'all. Then you're going to get a large bowl. You're going to get margarine. You can use margarine or you can use regular butter. I'm going to use butter. Um, you're supposed to use it soft. I do have some over here, so I might use what's in here. Because they're asking it for it to be softer. So... I might use this one. How much do I want? One and one fourth. That's not going to do it. So, we're going to have to use this. I'm going to use one and one fourth. This is pretty soft already. It wouldn't take long, I tell you. Alright, so, here's one of these. And in a large bowl. And I'll get one for that. Instead of using that. Yeah, this is already soft. Alright, good. Didn't take long. They don't make them. And they have over there and they cool it very cold at the store because I just bought this. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah. So I need one fourth left. I'm going to throw it in a big bowl. And that's all we need for that. Okay, so... Next, we're going to add an egg. Uh, it only calls for one egg. That's it. And that's what I have in here. It's my one egg! Ah. Put that out. I put the rest in the fridge when I went down. So, use one egg in here. And we're going to shove it in there. There we go. That's it. This very simple recipe here. Um, let's see. vanilla. We want a little bit. We're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. That's my 
I don't know where my teaspoon thing is. Here's the vanilla. And let's see if I have a, had it in here. There it is. Yeah. One teaspoon. Okay, so we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And it's going to say, beat well. So, does that mean they want me to use a beater to beat well? It's laughing over there. <laughs> beat well. Well, let me see if I can find something we can use. Here, we'll use this little doodad here. I'm going to beat this well. Why are you laughing? Huh? All right, so it says to beat well. Yeah, I don't know how bait this is going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to do, and then you laughed. So I was like, oh. Yeah, because this thing's going to work. Let's get the beater out. I got everything. I'm gonna beat you in a moment. I'm gonna use my little beater here. It's nice to have all this stuff right beside me too. I haven't used this thing. He uses it more than I do. Alrighty. And we got a little thing here. this for a few minutes. Maybe. mixing it up. I would make sure your butter's a little bit softer than mine was. It is soft, but it's not as soft as it should be, I don't think. So you want it pretty, you want it room temperature. So, all right, let's see what we're doing next. All right. It's just a lot. All right. Okay, add, 
be well. Add combined flour, baking soda, and cinnamon. So we're going to do the flour. This one and a half cups of flour. So we're going to do that one. I'm going to try to put my stuff away here as I go. So, I don't... so we got the big one, one and a half. So we got it there. Get more all over the place. Oh no. I don't know who's worse, me or Shea Bear. It's got a hole in here, that's what it is. Yeah. And he said he sneezed and got flour everywhere. Well, I'm getting it everywhere because it's just, ooh, that's almost right there. A little bit more. God, what a mess. Because the bag has a hole in it. I don't know what he did, but he must have tore it open somehow. See, I let him do all the cooking. He uses a lot of flour. He likes to bread things and, and that. Oh. Yep. All right, that should be plenty. So we're going to put that in there. Ugh. Ugh. Messy, messy. Yeah. Let me get rid of all this real quick. Ugh. Wow. I've never seen so much flour come out like that. It's because it had a hole in it. Terrible. I'm not usually this messy, but I haven't done things for a long time because I let him take over, you know, cooking and it's quite nice because, you know, I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't, I'm not much of a cook, but I don't mind baking. Baking's fun until you make a mess. God, I love it for. Right. Sorry guys. All right, we'll try to be a little bit neater. God, look at this. We got flour inside the butter. Ugh. Okay. All right, so what did I say? The combined flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt, and nutmeg mix well. Okay, so we're gonna use, got the flour in there, baking soda, Hey, where's the baking soda here? All right, so baking soda, um, one teaspoon. You're gonna use one teaspoon of the baking soda. I didn't have any, so I ran into the store and got some before I did this. I like the last minute stuff. I was like, oh, do we have this? Do we have that? It's like, I feel like making oatmeal cookies. And I was like, ugh. Yeah. All right. So what did I say for this? Baking soda is one teaspoon. And this is one teaspoon. Oh, that's a tablespoon. This is one teaspoon with all the flour all over it. Yeah, this is one teaspoon. Okay. So we're just going to use one of those. Okay. And... Cinnamon. Look like you use some cinnamon. And how much cinnamon? We want to get one teaspoon of cinnamon. So that will be all right. We we'll use the same thing. And hopefully, yeah. There you go. I put a little bit, and it fell in there a little bit, so I don't mind putting a little bit more. I like cinnamon good for you and um, what else okay baking some cinnamon salt I'm not gonna put the salt in there because um what did we we were using oh I'm using salted butter so it calls for unsalted but if you use the salted butter it says then you don't have to really add the extra salt 
So unless you want to, that's up to you, but I'm not going to. We have enough salt and, and I'm trying to make it where it's healthy for us. Um, and nutmeg. I want some nutmeg here. And that's probably the same amount, right? Nutmeg, ground nutmeg is one fourth. So it's just a little one fourth. Ugh, I got stuff everywhere. so good. I like nutmeg. It smells really nice. Okay, so, and you can put the salt in if you want to. Um, mix well. Okay, so I'm going to mix this well, and we'll get this going. Ugh. I'm making a mess, I think. well add the outs and mix well again so I'm gonna do that but I think I'm just gonna use this for a few minutes and then I'll put the outs in there and that'll help it a little bit better Yes, you can. I, I just did it like that. Um, you know, it's, it's still awful soft. I don't know. I put enough butter in there. Okay, it's called for three cups of the oats. So I'm going to put three cups in there. to eat it as a cereal but I do like it as a cookie so to me if this is the way I can make my cookies and get my oats you know it's good all right so we got three cups there three cups of oats all right so Okay, so we're going to throw this in here and then we're just going to blend it in real good. Mix it in. Okay. Okay. And it says to use a cookie pan that's ungreased. So you don't want to grease your cup cookie, your cookie pan. Hmm. Is there something else in 
that's missing here. I'm gonna make sure I got everything. So you need to add your sugar. I need to add the brown sugar, which I'm gonna use this one. And we're gonna use three-fourth cups. Three-fourth cups of the brown sugar. So I'm just gonna put we need. And you can use regular sugar if you want to. And I didn't buy any, so I figured if I didn't have quite enough. This was from Christmas, so I'm gonna make sure it's down. Yeah, so three, four cups of sugar, brown sugar. And it's not quite there, so this is pretty much it. This is what I thought it would be. If I figured I had to use um, the regular brown sugar, I had some, so I wasn't too worried if I had to mix. Sometimes my, my mother, when she, she uses um, this, sometimes she'll mix it, do half and half, and it seems to do better. Okay, so I got that in there. And I'm gonna stir it up for a minute, and I'm gonna put this one in there too. And regular sugar is half a cup, just half a cup. And you can use regular sugar if you want to. Okay, we got that, we got that, that, egg, vanilla, cinnamon. All right, so I just gotta blend this all real good. Okay. And just blend it in the best we can. Okay, I don't wanna use the beater because it's just gonna get it everywhere. If you want to, um, I'm just reading, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to add in a cup of, of the chocolate chips to go in here too. So I just wanted something different. I do have raisins, but I, I didn't want to put too much sugar. Raisins has natural sugar, yes, but it can be a little bit too much. These do not have any sugar in them. Um, yeah. Can't get them open, so. 
we'll just cut it open. And uh, so, anyway, so how much for this a cup? I believe that's what it said. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, you can put raisins, you can put chopped nuts, you can do these, you can do chocolate chips, you can do whatever you want. And, um, you know, do what you, what you like. And if you're not diabetic or whatever, you know, you don't have to make sure that you don't have any sugar, non-sugar stuff. So, these were expensive. I mean, they were $7 for this little bag, and I was like, wow. But, you know, I don't, I want to have something that we can eat. And if I have to pay a little extra, which I shouldn't have to, but that's just the way it goes. Okay, so we have a cup of these, and I'm going to mix them in. And then we're going to blend it up and do some more blending here. Oof, it's getting harder and harder, so I want to get this together here. Now, also, you can make this as a bar. If you want to make it a chocolate bar, you can make your um, pan, a long pan that's flat, and squish it down and make a bar. And then cut them up as bars instead. Um, which is really fine for, you know, on the go. If you've got something to, to, and you want to take with you for a snack or something, you can do it that way. I'm going to just make the cookies today. Oof. This is going to make a lot of cookies. But they're good for coffee, you know, or tea at night. My mom likes to eat, drink her tea, so I like to maybe give her a snack with it. And she could have a couple of cookies with her tea. Something. So. Alright. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Awful dry though. I, I don't get why it's. It, maybe it's just because it looks like. I don't know. You only use one egg. And uh, that's what it says. I'm surprised. I haven't made oatmeal cookies in a long time. So then it says okay, you're going to mix well. Drop dough by rounded tablespoons onto ungreased cookie sheet. And then you're going to bake it for one, eight to nine minutes. So I got my cookie sheet over here. And I'm going to put it on here. Excuse my lovely cookie sheet. It's got a lot of fate. It's got a lot of cooking on there. So, um, what did I say? Tablespoon? Is that what I said? Yeah, tablespoon. So you're just going to take your tablespoon. And put it around there. So, I'm going to do this. Mm, I don't know. It's awful. I think it needs another egg. That's what I think. But it only calls for one egg. Wow. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put them all on the cookie sheet. And I'll show you the first one. All you do is, all it says to do is drop dough by rounded tablespoon. So that's all you're going to do. Drop it. So and drop it. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to play with it and make sure it's rounded. Yeah. I don't like this. I think it needs another egg. I really do. It's awful dry. Yeah. To me it's too dry. It should be like that. Yeah. I think I'm going to add another egg in here. It's just not moist enough to me to, to for it to set. You see how it fell apart, right? And I know I got everything, so... Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to add another egg. There's a lot there, so I'm going to put another egg in here. And hopefully that will help it, you know. I mean said one egg, but then it put an S beside it, so maybe it called for more than that. So, it's just not cooperating with me. Oh well. And I think that may help it. It looks good. 
good. Give it some moisture. Yeah. Too much dry ingredients and not enough moisture in here. And I don't, you know, I put the margarine and the butter in there. So I'm gonna do this and let's see if we can get it together yeah see this is a little bit better and what you're gonna do is pop it on there it's still not sticking there we go it's helping so that's what I'm gonna do okay we'll be back after I get them all on the pan and we'll be right back the buzzer's going so I'm going to turn it off and we are going to pull them out now. I gotta find me uh, my um, thing here. I'm gonna buy some new ones. I haven't found anything I like. These are a little bit dangerous. They're very thin inside and they do burn your hands. Oh they don't. I don't know. These are drop cookies okay so they're not going to be like a regular cookie. They look like a drop. Like you dropped it on the plate. Okay, so I'm going to bring these out. And we'll let them cool off for a few minutes. Now I'm going to do these ones between 11 and 12 minutes. I might do this a little bit longer. Let me use this for one more minute. I'm going to do this because it did call nine, 8 to 9 minutes. So I'm going to do it for one more minute. And let's do this one more minute here. Okay. So... One. Okay. So it'll only, it'll only take a few minutes. I have plenty of this left. Um, I might make a bar with the rest of it. I do have, um, let me see. Um, I love my drawers. They're so nice. Uh, where's my little tin ones? Maybe they're in here. Can't remember where anything is yet. Hopefully one day we'll get used to it. Yep. Oh, it's the last place you look. Yeah. So I got two of these, and I think I could use one of these, and I'm going to make bars out of it. I think that's what I'll do. And then that way you, you can see the difference for the bar. Because I got plenty here. Plenty. So now I'll give it a little difference. I'm going to just do one of those and see how it works. So few more minutes and we're going to take this back out again and see what it looks like okay and turn it off and let's get our cookies out and they look like a drop cookie okay so that's going to be chewy cookie now I'm going to do this one about 11 minutes so we're going to see the difference and this is going to make it a harder cookie I'm going to put it on uh, for 11 minutes. Okay. And when that is done, I will bring you back. Okay, guys. I'm going to start the cookie bar. <coughs> um, I was kind of reading here because you can do it both ways. So you press the dough onto a 13 by 9 inch baking pan. I don't have a 13 by 9. I don't know what size these suckers are, but I thought I could try these. Let me see what else I got. I don't think I do. Everything's around. Yeah. So I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to press it down on it. So that's what it says. You press down, and you still use an ungreased pan, okay? So and you're just going to put it in here, but, you know, and press down on it. So I got quite a bit here and I just thought maybe I might try it. I'm going to leave some more so I can make a few more cookies. And this way I got two ways and you guys can see the difference. You know, you might like to do the bar. So I'm just going to press down on it. And it did get moister. 
Yeah, it's a lot better than it was, but I think I needed two eggs. I don't know why it only said one egg, but it just was too dry. It wasn't holding. So, um, I thought maybe I forgot to put something in there, but I didn't. So, there we go. So, I'm going to press it down just like so. I'm going to use the other part, and I'm going to do some more cookies with that. So, we have kind of both. So after, this one's not six more minutes yet, so after it's done, I'm going to bring it out and I'll show you the difference because it's it's a little crispier, um, harder cookie. And uh, we'll be back. Okay guys, so there we go. I'm going to turn these ones off and bring them out so you can see the difference. Alright, this is cool, so I'm going to put this over here for the moment. It's not going to hurt. Granite. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like these ones or not, but, okay, so these are going to be the crispier ones, okay? So you're going to, I don't know if I like that or not, that one fell apart, and that's what I'm saying, it was just too moist, I'm glad I used uh, two eggs in this. Now this one, I'm going to make it chewy again. I'm going to do this one. What did it say? Eight to nine minutes. So I'm going to do this nine minutes because I did the other one nine minutes. Motion so detected at the front door. we're going to do this one at nine minutes. That's in there. So this one, now I'm going to put this in there and it's going to take a little longer. It'll take up to 20 minutes. I believe that's what it said. 25 to 30 minutes. So after these cookies are done, I'm going to pop this in and do it for 20 to 30 minutes or until it's lightly golden brown, it says. And then you cool completely in the pan and then you can put it on a wire rack if you want or you could just leave it in here and then cut it. I'm going to do this one as soon as these ones are done. I'm going to let these cool off and when this is all completely done, I will come back. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, so we're back now. Shea Bear is joining me because he's going to be our tester. So right now I let this cool off. It's pretty cool. I'm going to take it out and show you my bar. And it's not a bar bar like you think. I left it in for 25 minutes. I don't think I would have done any more than that. I don't know if I can just flip it. You think I can? I should be able to. You think so? Did you need to grease it? You're not supposed to. You're not mm. supposed to use a knife in that pan either. No. <laughs> no. No. Or metal. Well, when your homemade bread sticks, don't tell it me. It won't stick. Well, my homemade bread that I make for you. There you go. You only ruined one pan doing that. There you go. So. Should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. So here we go. It, it doesn't take long for them to cool. So you can either. use that for like a, a, a snack if you're hiking or something. You can yeah. cut it up and use it for like a, what do you call it? Like a, what's that called? Yeah, they're like, um, Like bars. an energy bar. Yeah, like an energy bar. Yeah. And you just cut it like that, and you cut them whatever size you want, you know, and just cut them through. This one will be mine. Really? No. Hmm. But I wanted you to show the different ways that there was. You could do it this way, or you can make them chewy, like I did in here. This plate is the chewy ones, and right here is the crunchier ones. Now I'm more of a chewy person, so I probably like the chewy ones better. What's the difference in the crunchy and chewy? Well, this is more softer and easier on your mouth. And I mean, this one's crunchy. How, how do you make it crunchy? You just, you just put it in longer. <laughs> these go in for eight to nine minutes. These go to 11 to 12 minutes. And these go for 25 minutes. These go to 11. Really? It's a movie reference. Oh. Does I'm, anyone know that movie? I don't. Why don't the ones that, that go to 10, why don't you just make them a little louder? But these go to 11. 
I have no idea. How do you remember that stuff? This is Spinal Tap. That's the movie. Oh, I see. Okay, so I want you to take a cookie of each. I don't want to eat. What? I, I don't want to eat the crunchy one. I want you to try this one and that one and see what you like better. Well, I don't like crunchy. Hurts my gum. Oh. I have periodontal disease, so. You don't want to try? It's not real. Tr it's not real. Hard. I'll try a chewy one, yeah. Okay. Try a chewy one. Whoop. Now remember, these are drop cookies. That's why they look the That's way That's why I are. dropped it. Ha, ha. <laughs> You're funny, man. What do you got in there? What do you think? Rat turds? No. Chocolate chips? Yes. Yes. Non-sugar. Okay, that's pretty good. Do you like it? Because it's non-sugar. It's all right. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd rather have sugar, but it's not unedible to me. No? No. Okay. You want to try the bar? Well, it's the same thing, right? Pretty much, yeah. It's just a different shape, and you put it in and cook it longer. That's all. For an energy mm -hmm. bar. Good? Those would make good hiking bars. Yeah, they would. Hiking, camping, fishing. Yep. Hunting. Mm hmm Throw a couple of them in there. Right. And I can eat them because they are less than sugar. I used... Um, well, you can add sugar, right? If you... you can do it the other way. You can use regular sugar and brown sugar, yeah. regular brown sugar. I use tru Truvia on both of them, the brown and the regular. It's not bad. It tastes like an energy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you. So, anyways, that's the different ways you can do it. And, um, yeah, I think these would be really nice if you have to go or you want it for breakfast. You know, just grab one, take it, and go. Uh, yeah. And I like the softer cookies. I think I'd, I don't know about these ones if I would like these ones as much or not. But, yeah. yeah I can't eat hard stuff, so. Yeah, I know you can. And my mother can't either, really. But I just wanted you to know there was different ways. So I'm going to put the, um, the ingredients in the description below. And I also have, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll show it to you here. The, um, oh, that ain't it. You can put it in the description across the screen. I can do that with the um, nutrition. I was going to show you the nutrition mm -hmm. of it. So I will, do, I will do that. I'll put it on there for you. She'll put it on the screen right now. Thank you, babe. See how you edit that one. <laughs> I love you. He's always testing me. And I'm going to watch this video close, too. Are you? To make sure the nutrition facts go up the screen yeah. a minute ago. <laughs> love you. I love you, too. No, very good, monkey. Good job. Thank you. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, so if you have diabetes, you can eat these. Just make sure you substitute with uh, trivia sugar or a low sugar substitute. And the chocolate, I these had no sugar in them. And chocolate chips? Yeah. So that's what I bought. They're so. not bad, though. No. Okay. Good. But see, I, I can have sugar. Yeah, you but can. But they can't. So yeah. like. When I make my own barbecue sauce, I'm the only one that eats it. Now, yeah. But mm. so, and yeah, that's not bad. Because I yeah. have just had to start doing that. Yeah, that's not bad at all for you know mm -hmm. healthy stuff. Right, and I could I could have probably done I can do another batch for him if he just wants to eat oatmeal cookies, and I'll just put regular sugar in for him. I could do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Good job, Monk. Thanks. Bye, guys. Monk says she's out for now, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We were going to go fishing. So, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe it won't rain. I'm praying, but it's just 70%, so that's a lot. So, anyways, y'all have a good weekend, and Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Okay guys, we are back. I have made the cookies. I have put them here, as you can see. Now, and they're a little bit moister. I would use two eggs. I, I used my two eggs, so. 
it kind of helped it. I, it. I tasted it, it tastes fine, so I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> it just seems so dry. I mean, I was mixing and mixing it, and now it's starting to moist up a little bit better, and I just keep mixing it. So that's what it looks like. It just looked really, really dry. So I use two eggs. It's up to you if you want to use two eggs. It calls for one, but I think it, it needed more than that. Okay, so we're going to pop it in the oven. Um, let me see here. Um, to eight to nine minutes. Yeah, you're going to pop it in the oven. You're going to bake for eight to nine minutes or in two. These are chewy cookies, okay? They're not going to be really crunchy or anything. They're going to be chewy. And you're going to, or if you need to, you can you can do to 10 to 11 minutes for a crispier cookie if that's what you like. And then you're going to cool it for one minute on a cookie sheet and remove to a wire rack. Okay? So we'll do this and we'll see how it works. So we're going to pop it in. I'm going to pop it in. And we're going to do eight to nine minutes on the timer. I'm going to do eight and then if I need to add, I'll add on. I'm going to make these moist and maybe the next one I'll make them a little bit crispier so you can see the difference. Um, okay, so there we go. So when this goes off, I will be back. I'm going to work on the next one. I do have another cookie sheet, so I'm going to put some more on there and we'll continue while this one's cooking. So as soon as the timer goes, I will be right back. Uh, you just left me high and dry. Don't record yet. That's oh, a blooper now. Oh, you're recording? 